Are we actually fighting Iago now? Please tell me we are. Oh, lots of chests too. What's that poop? This is going to be satisfying! Enjoys making devious plans. Except you have vengeance. And why do you have Bowbreaker? That's kind of interesting. Oh, you are going to be manning turrets, aren't you? You're going to be shooting us from afar with those turrets. And you have... How do you pronounce that? G Gwyn... 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 Yeah, that's a very, very incomprehensible name. But we actually get to fight you now, hopefully. I mean, you'll probably just run away, and there are a lot of mages here. I thought we'd be seeing some strate- uh, you'd be a strategist, yeah. Uh, I don't particularly like that generic portrait, it's a little bit boring. Oh, enemy maids! I always wonder what enemy maids look like! Kinda makes me feel bad to attack them, but... Silver Dagger. Okay, hero. And another hero. But you have a... Okay, they... The enemies are starting to get silver weapons at this point. That is good to know. But we have quite a lot of treasure to loot, so I think I need to bring my ninjas to this map. Why are there Armonites there? That makes me wary of reinforcements. What's our... Oh, route everything. Okay, then. So this is going to be a long one. Wait, why do... Oh, they got a support off of that face looking. Yeah, I'll save that for later, though. So, who to bring here? As much as I'd like to use Kaldori, maybe I'll let everyone else promote first. I want Saizo and Kagero here, though. Uh, I kind of want Scarlet and Kana to get their supports up. I... There are a lot of magic users, so Cardin might do well here. No, Aboro's husband door is not deployable! Ah, why? Uh, not sure about Azamo and Setsuna. I haven't actually used Ryoma and Rinka in a couple of chapters, so I may want to bring them. I want to bring Hinoka and Hinata as well. Who do we also have? We have Silas and Azura? Orochi and... Okay, Hayato's a little weak. Maybe I should bring him. Been a little while since I used those two. And let's see if I can send some people out equipped with Master Seals. Wait a minute, how many healers do we have? I don't think we have any healers. That's not good. Uh, I want you to get experience. But if we're not getting any healer... Wait a minute. I do have a healer. Except I only have a 5-use Bloom Festival that I can use. Uh, at least it's better than nothing. Kamui can heal, but I would like another healer at least. If Orochi promotes, she can heal. Except I don't have an another spare Bloom Festival. Huh, who do I get rid of is the issue here. Okay, you know what? I actually have used Kana in a few chapters, so maybe not her. And maybe I put in... Uh, Azuma, I think he needs more experience. Okay then. We need to break our way through those two. And there are a lot of doors here. And there's a hero right up there. I want to actually get rid of that hero quickly. And does anybody have some kind of armor slaying whip? Well, Rinka has a hammer. But I don't want to waste her on these lower enemies. So, uh, Hinata. I want that armor slayer. 
And Hana needs better weapons. So I'll take that, and I think we fired. And it's this music again. We have tutorials on turrets, so are those the only turrets on this map, or are there more? I think those are the only ones on this map. So I guess it's time to move. Ugh, that hero, I don't like that hero at all. I also don't like these armors. But I do like the Raijin tour. And why is Ryoma not dual striking? Oh right, because they're in guard stance. Yeah, that's why. More fuel for the fire. And more fire puns for the uh the mental traumatizing. Wow, rabbit spirit's pretty painful, except it lowers your stats a little. Even so, I do want to check out the rabbit spirit. Because rabbits are always pet awesome in Fire Emblem. Well, in only the most recent ones. Purple Rabbit! Okay, that's cool. And that's not actually going to be killed. Okay, at least he's- Wow, that's actually really good! And yeah, he debuffs himself. It negates his own magic plus two skill, actually. And... I think I'll actually get you with the Sheep Spirit. Enemy spotted. I probably should take out those other enemies. Delightful. Probably should have moved Yorma later, actually, and used his ranged attacks to get rid of some of them. There seems to be way too many archers around here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. You have breathed your last. Yeah, I had a feel. Did he say you breathed your last? So many people say that in this game. Goodbye. And mega strength buff. Really mega strength buff. Okay, there's uh yeah, you have the better defense, so I feel safe leaving you there. Now, Mozu. You're going to unlock that door and enemies are going to just rush out on all of us. So for now I'm going to... I think the Barb Shuriken lowers evasion. Also I just realised yeah, you have a mini bow so you can't even counter attack this. And Ninja Strike! I'm in your debt. I'm sure you'll be repaying that debt soon if you know what I mean. Uh, now I can stick somebody with better defense in front of, although that's bad, because, yeah. For now, let's use this not wing sphere. And if I equip an armor slayer for the dual strike. And I am currently anticipating the slow and agonizing death I'm going to give. <laughs> Sorry, Iago. So if that was really uh, quick and agonizing, I need to heal her now. Good. At least I actually brought healers. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are kind of going a little berserk today. Yeah, really need to heal her. So, Carden. How are you against this guy? Pretty good, actually. And I probably should have given Mozu some better weapons in anticipation for promotion, but oh well. One more. Please dodge. Nope. At least he's a bit stronger on the defense, like uh, with that beast rune. 
Yeah, I'm going to be needing a lot of those Master Seals soon, so I need to keep some people close to Kamui. Speaking of Kamui... For now, I'm actually going to have him go over here and equip the Dragonstone for... Okay, that is that is decent defense. I'll admit that's decent defense. Oh, I can actually do this at least, although that's probably a waste of this blue vessel. <laughs> kind of like the way he uses the staff there. It's like, huh! You couldn't actually see that, but I um, just basically acted out the pose that he does. Okay, yeah, you need to staff her now. Look, I need to get stronger. Well, you're almost as strong as you can possibly get for an unpromoted. Okay, hero. Please. Okay. Uh oh. Sizer, don't kill this guy, please. You will, won't you? That you'll strike, and that will kill you with the hero. If only you dodge the first one, though, with weapon triangle disadvantage, I can kind of see. Okay, glad that you're going there at least. Oh, I'm worried about you! Yeah! Should have planned that out better. And he's gone. Still not good enough. Yeah, exactly. If he dodged that first axe, though. And slowly opening doors. Alright, I better catch those thieves soon before they make off with all my treasure. Oh, oh crap! Let me help you. Yeah, watch out for those walls here. At least he survived that. Yeah, these Fimbleverter spells are kind of painful. I love a challenge. Doesn't help that Kamui has terrible HP. Sorcerer is incoming. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. We need to break through them fast. We also have that hero. Uh, the thing about losing Sizol there, though, is... Like, if he did not one-round that fighter, and I didn't think he could one-round that fighter, if he didn't, he would have survived. Sometimes you don't want dual strikes. Like, sometimes you really don't want dual strikes. Yeah, I want to get through these enemies relatively quickly. And you have an axe equipped, which is not good. Let's try this for now. This should be interesting. <laughs> and that will debuff him. Oh, and you're ready to promote. We might be having a master ninja here. And, oh yeah, poison is really useful against enemies like that with high HP. And I can sheep this person. So I shall do that. Sheep! This is what we've trained for. Thank you, sheep! <laughs> okay, Orochi's almost up there too. Hmm. Oh, that speed though! Yeah, her speed is really, 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 really pitiful. Oh, there are way too many enemies up here, though. Especially uh, lots of magical ones, though, but quite a few physical ones as well. So, exactly how are we going to do this? Um, that's an... Kind of amusing. I just want to take out as many of them as I can. Or we just sit here and tank them all, but the question with that is, we need some people with decent resistance and physical defense to do that. And yeah, Rinka's resistance is terrible, so I don't want her getting hit. Definitely don't want her getting hit by those Fimbleverter enemies. Carden fits the decent resistance part of the deal, but not the decent defense part of it. You have 20 in both, though. That's not bad. Wow, Fimble Vezza only does 4? That's actually really nice. Need to equip that Guard Naginata, though. 
but you might be the tank that we need. Although her HP is pretty low. And next we need someone else with decent in both defense and resistance, which Hinoka kind of has, but not so much on the defense front, and I can't even use her anyway because, uh, archers. Yeah, archers. I may actually have to use Ryoma here. I don't want to, but I kind of have to. Not bad. And that only getting one experience was bad. Yeah, I don't want Rinka getting hit by magic because that's really, really bad. Yeah, 22, and then you could potentially be hit by a lot of those in the same turn, so that's not really a good idea. Probably best that I actually just do a pair up. Though giving Rilma even more strength than normal is maybe not exactly the best idea. Also, uh, you need healing badly. And you stay back for now. So, gotta watch those archers. And I need to watch you as well. Because if I switch over then, potentially, yeah, Archon's not good. I wish he could use that stuff on himself. Sadly, he does not have Live to Serve. Which would be pretty cool if he did, but yeah, no, he doesn't really. Silent Staff. Okay, then. Well, okay, admittedly that's not terrible damage, but I really don't want everyone to hit Ryoma, and of course it gets hit by 20, 21%. Sorry. Yeah, sorry for stealing all of that experience. Please don't kill everything, Ryoma. I'll lend you strength. I'm glad that I paired up you with him, though, because I don't exactly want him to get dual strikes on him. Please, everyone, don't attack. Okay, that's good. Kind of like a ranged weapon, though. And you clearly have a gigantic death wish. Not even close. Oh, no crit. That would have been amazing. We're done here. With Ryoma, we are always done here. Okay, very well-timed full guard gauge. But not so well-timed, uh, I didn't want Ryoma to kill that sorcerer. At least it's probably the only thing that'll do... Did, did that guy's cape just get disintegrated? <laughs> yeah, that cape's just kind of disintegrate like that. Don't worry. Uh, okay, that is a... Okay, that is... So much work. You die. No. And, yeah. You fought bravely. No, you didn't. If you attack Ryoma, you fought stupidly. Uh-oh, Thief Reinforcements. So they're clearly going for those chests. Okay, and we can go up there, or... Actually, that's the only way we can go. I'm almost guaranteed to stop that guy before he gets away, though. They also have a lot of gold on them. So... I think we should get rid of these ones first. That archer needs to go, though. Uh, interesting. He's changing his presence best on the supports with Mozu, uh, with Roma. Cool. I've got your back. My strength is yours. Double Samurai. Oh. Another one gone. But I need to get rid of that archer. Well, thief, but thief archer, basically. Ah, uh, so close! 
So close. Not quite there yet, but so close. And yeah, you'll wait a minute. Yeah, you won't be able to hit her, thankfully. Let's go, not wing spear. Anything to support units the bigger threat than the main unit. If you're doing 8, then you'll most likely do 16 as a normal attack. Except I can just kind of... That's probably my best bet, actually. I like that speed bonus that Ryoma's pair-up gives. So let's whoop ya with the ugly stick again. Okay, that has helped, uh... That's gonna help... Hinoka, yeah, forgot a name for a moment. Hinoka a lot. Okay, I was... Okay, that's actually good. That's pretty much exactly what I expect from you. Rink is actually getting some pretty good stats. She may have been RNG blessed in my run. And now... Soon it will be time for awesomeness to happen. Because of that, okay, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna save... Uh, probably best if I heal here. And then these two... Yeah, these two will just hang back for the time being. Or maybe they can already attempt to... Oh, I don't like that mage, and why are you in an exclamation mark? Great club! 55 crits, but pretty much Gonzalez level hit rate. For those of you who don't know, Gonzalez was a character in Fire Emblem 6, the only playable bandit in the series, actually, like of that class, who, ridiculously bad skill, but when he hits, he hits very, very hard, and he crits a lot. Anyway, can I use that right now? Oh yes, it's time! So, because it gives better strength, I think you're really supposed to promote Kagero to Mechanist. But, out of the two ninjas that I'm using, I want the girl to be the master ninja in the relationship. Let's go! It's time for Master Ninja theme song! Ninja Transformation! <laughs> Kagero, I'm so sorry, but you didn't say the word ninja, so it doesn't count! Just kidding. Oh, we can't check her out yet. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought so. Now is probably a good time to try out, and she can use katanas now, probably should give her one. So yeah, Master Ninja is essentially Assassin. It's basically the exact same as Assassin from other games. But let's try her out. Go, Master Ninja Kagero! Destroy them! Fine execution. So yeah, getting a close look at her. She's got a lot more armor now. And she has much flashier battle animations. Yeah, I'm liking this class already. Oh, and I forgot to say promotion no jutsu! Anyway. Wait, I'm using the... I'm using the... yeah. Lance user to attack an axe user. No time, all right? This might be not so good. Oh crap, that's bad. Don't hit please. Well that's not good. Can somebody pick up the slack? Yes they can, okay that's good. You know what? Okay, Mozu gets this. Uh, technically, the Iron Nakinata has the better, but the Gar Nakinata only does one less damage. Let's go for that. Well, 
And I am definitely using a master seal on her. Well, look at me. <laughs> and we'll have another master in this episode. Pretty decent stats, though I'd appreciate a little bit more strength. And we retrieve those stolen goods, which, yes, the thief's stolen goods are now forfeit. What are you going for? You're going for those chests, I think. Let's see. Gotta watch out for that maid there. Oh, you have a tiger spirit. I like that the enemies are kind of mixing Hoshidan and Norian spells. Does that mage have, uh... No, she doesn't. Now, I think that thief will just focus on... Okay, let's see. Hopefully that is not going to be terrible. Speaking of hopefully this is not going to be terrible... Uh, let's decorate this thing with our love. Not in a weird way or anything. That damage should be illegal. What a letdown. I mean, seriously, we only see that kind of damage on effectiveness bonuses at this point in the game. Well, not at this point in the game, like earlier in the game, we only saw that on effectiveness bonuses. But now... Now Scarlet does that, and she destroys everything. Yeah, I thought he... They're not even moving. Okay, we need a resistance tank up here, stat. That silver dagger, don't like that. What's that debuff? What's the debuff on that? Speed minus four is act and defense and res minus four. That's actually pretty terrifying. But speaking of terrifying, Mozu is about to get really terrifying. Store that and then take another master seal. In fact, maybe silver katana. Oh, we have a beast killer. Should probably use that. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, and I can't use the convoy again in the same turn. Oh well. Uh, let's just use this then. So on this route, I want to promote her to Master of Arms. Let's go! I'm wondering how she's going to look in this class, actually. Hopefully she won't tremble anymore. Oh, okay, that looks very cool. And she suddenly gained a katana out of nowhere. Yes, yes, you really could get used to that, Mozu. So, she can now use swords and axes. So yeah, Mozu is Master of Arms now. And she gets much more confident animations. And clips her weapon through her face. Yeah, let's just ignore that for the moment. Speaking of let's ignore that, uh... For now I'll just have Hinata go into you and then... We are in desperate need of healing on that front. And a few more levels, and then I could promote Azawa to Great Master, and then we'll have three Masters this chapter. Um. And then if I promoted Hinata to Master of Arms, we'd then have four Masters, and then we could have had five Masters if, uh... Yeah. Oh, that's why nobody charged! Because, yeah. Right. Whoever goes there is getting hit by a maid. Can Hayato endure being hit by a maid? Okay, your defense is better than your resistance. Uh, I hope he can. Let's go. Come here, maid. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure he survives that. Thankfully, the debuff doesn't take effect until the end of the turn. And I would have liked it if you dodged that, but oh well. Interestingly, we've got both combatants looking worried there. Uh-oh, more mages. Oh, another thief reinforcement. 
Oh wait, we have a chest there that we need to get. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's a shame that I promoted Kagero and now I'm just regulating her to chest duty. Also, her resistance is actually very good now, so she's a pretty, very good mage killer, actually. Uh, huh. Do I have a more accurate spirit? No, I don't. I have horse, though. And both of those need to hit. No, I'm not risking that. But I think axes are effective. Just got to keep you out of range of those other mages. And I can't actually finish you off. But perhaps the newly crowned Master of Arms can. Though what I really want to do is stick uh, him on that choke point, so maybe let's avoid that for the moment, and let's instead attack you with the Not Wing Spear. I can help. Are you hurt? Uh, sorry, maid. A good effort. Did her Pegasus' armor fall off? It looks very suspiciously unarmored. I won't lose. And that's a great level up. And yeah, she still got debuffed. So let's stick you on that magical choke point. Because you will do very well there with that ma with that beast rune. I almost called it a mage rune for a second there. Well, it's a mage killing rune. My turn. Yeah, that's yeah, he's saying my turn. Such beauty! <laughs> and you know what? Soon he'll be it'll be time for him to get even more beautiful. And you can't quite reach. Okay. Oh, won't lose. And I think... Who do I heal? You're the one in the choke point, but... Oh, uh, you both have the same amount of resistance. And both of you are immune to dual strikes, so I don't need to worry about that. Ah, I'll pay you back. Promise. Oh, and you already did. You get, got that... That's the first time we're seeing his personal skill activate. And then these two will stay behind for a bit, and then, yeah, she's the only one left, so she'll just say, yeah, okay then. Or they can just do that and traffic jam themselves! Because, yeah, Cardin can't exactly attack from range. And that traffic jam means more time for them to move towards the other chests. So once you got those chests, okay, you do have to get through us to get away, although you will probably run up there. And it got a Psycon, okay then. Now yeah, I'd like to maybe take out some of you from range if at all possible. But, because range weapons, well... How much HP does he have? 13, and then he takes... No, 23. Why did I say 13? 100% hit rate with Malevolent Text is pretty amazing. What does Horse Spirit give again? Plus 3 to Skill, Speed, Defense, Resistance. Okay. So it's weaker, but... I haven't actually seen what Horse Spirit looks like yet. Here I am. Nay! Oh, it's an orange horse. And he gets hit by both of them. Of course he does. Does that horse that spirit make a galloping sound? I was gonna lose. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so another one gone, and that means... Oh, uh, I really want Cardin to promote soon. Maybe I can... Yeah, let's just Iron Katana you. Everything will be all right. Are you alright? I win! And he's wearing that eye patch I gave him. He actually looks pretty good with that eye patch now that I think about it. Okay, gotta be careful if the enemy is here though. Hmm. Yeah, luring that strategist might not be such a bad idea. For now, actually though, I'm gonna. Get rid of that Kodachi and give you a Master Seal. 
which you will then give to him, and not use your staff, which Khan will just go up here and equip that beast room, and hopefully, yeah, tank those enemies. I like that there are a lot more, um, oh, we might be able to see more, just realise, more trolling supports with uh, Azuma and Hyata. I still think the name Tsukuyomi didn't really suit him, so I'm kind of okay with the change. Yeah, if Karlin had ranged attacks, he'd be an even better mage killer. But only taking 8 damage from a sorcerer is pretty good. Okay, yeah, thankfully, yeah, uh, no dual strike because of Mozu. And game crash! <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I don't know why that early translation patch of Gaiden made the uh, game crash whenever you cast Ragnarok. I think it might have been this Ragnarok had too many characters in it for the tra like for the translation patch to really handle, and so uh, it basically just you know crashed the game every time you tried to attack. Ouch! That Ragnarok is really really painful if you don't have high resistance. But so is that sorcerer. So, maybe I should just kill you quickly. Wait. Mozu is technically more capable of doing that, although, or not. She has perfect accuracy with that pine branch, though. You know what, I'll just go for the beast room. I wish Azura was here so that I could just promote Cardin right now, but... I... And I also wish Cardin had some activation rate skills. Oh, I love that animation. <laughs> and maxed out. For now. Wow. Wait a second. A beast killer would be really good against that strategist. Actually, Papa's... And that's exactly enough to kill him. But I can one-shot you with Love Decorate. But I too shot you with the killer axe. You know what? I'm actually going to go for that. I just want this strategist gone. Will this be our first killer axe critical? We'll find out. You're in trouble now. Yes, it will. You know, I now that I think about it, I probably should have lunged. Okay, we get another door key. That's 15 down, and that's a bad hit rate, but even so... I just want to free up... How much health does she have left? Yeah, you can reach, which is not good. Let's just see if I can get rid of you. Good, good dodge there. I can't lose. Uh, care for what you say there, because fate might hey end up testing that. I was about to say I'm wondering how good his resistance is, and then he just gained resistance, so it'll be at least like okay, maybe. Okay, I need to Sun Festival card it now. Because I don't want him to, like, die before I can promote him. And you, uh, I don't like that. But I don't like that either. But I don't like the idea of Azuma getting... You know what? It's real my time. And I need to check out those turrets uh, and how much range they have on them. Because I don't want to advance into their range before it's time. Okay, okay, only 10 damage, that's not bad. Although the... Okay, good thing that missed because the Fimbleverter may have killed him afterwards. One down! One down, another one to go. In this area, at least. Yeah, that is 52% accuracy even without... Uh, Jewel's Blow is actually quite a good evasion rate on Hinata there. And slowly opening doors. I need to be quick if I want to head them off. 
Oh no, more of them? Neither of them have any, um... Yeah, any, um... Lockpicking skill, though. Kind of funny that not all thief enemies have the lockpicking skill. Can I... Oh, I can't actually lock those in. But at least... Okay, so the pillars. This reaches up to the pillars. That's, like, these two pillars here. That's actually a good way to go about checking the range. And now... Let's see. Oh, that great club is worrying. Let us perform a great club assassination. Except if both of you hit uh, Scarlet, that will end badly. I guess we can try this then. Go, Papa's Katana! Show me that I didn't forge you for nothing. Don't hit, please. Thank you. You won't stop me. Uh, no, you won't. Apparently. I did it. And good thing that great club is gone. And now. It is time for, well, yeah, if this was called Master Fox, we would get even more masters, but no. It is time for him to grow eight more tails! Okay, his outfit just changes into uh, a different colour. Looks very awesome ish. <laughs> and congratulations, your Cardin has evolved into Nine Tails. I had to say that. I didn't even need a Firestone to do it, just a Master Seal, which is kind of the same thing when you think about it. So let's see what he looks like now. Yep, he actually has a lot more Tails. I love the transformation classes have promotions now. That's just, um, yeah, it is really, really helpful. Because before they kind of sucked in some regards. Uh, let's go for that. This should be interesting. Plus 34 hits. <laughs> and now you're dodging. So weak. I mean, it's, this map theme is decent, but I'd like a new map theme soon, just saying. Uh, maybe there? And I'll need to Sun Festival you. Finally, the, ret the Retainer is actually helping his master. And where are you, Kagero? I'm sure we'll be able to head off the enemy soon. And that is 10,000 gold. I'm not too bothered about that at this point because, yeah. Ready to go. Oh, that's bad. So you both you okay? are equally bad at taking magic attacks. Thankfully, I've got a full guard gauge. Okay. Watch these pillars. I need to stay away from them. If I attack both of them from range, I don't get in range of that turret. Unfortunately, the turrets don't exactly have uh, limited uses in this game, but, the, but unlike ballistas, they can't kill you, which is uh, really, really good. Because, yeah, I have horror stories about it, people getting killed by ballistas, especially Lords, especially Lin in FE7 who was an absolute ballista magnet if you didn't train her, which is why I always train her now. Yeah, that one Fog of War chapter. Uh, the one with Lloyd, I think it is, that one. Not the Lloyd in this game, the Lloyd there. Basically, there are a lot of ballistas, and if you don't train Lin, she tends to get one-shotted by them, and then she just dies horribly, and then that's no fun for anyone. 
Plus, Lin is actually pretty good, so yeah, you want to train her anyway. More fuel for the fire. Or at least Lin always ends up amazing for me. It's weird, I have kind of weird luck with the, uh, there's a hero there. And there are a lot, okay, all of them are physical, thankfully. Seems like that can't actually reach her from there. But actually, Mozu has better defenses. Strangely enough. Oh, she might get hit by the... Okay, wait, I just realized you have a Silver Axe. That's not good. I have to trust in the newly crowned Master of Arms, Mozu. And, oh yeah, Kagero is still falling behind. <laughs> Arm scroll, I kind of like that. And... no damage, nice! <laughs> you are taking after Path of Radiance, um, Siege Engines in being pathetic. Well, mostly just the, um, the, the catapults. Those were just hilariously terrible. Oh, and you didn't kill. That's actually a very good thing, because it means that the hero won't have to come. Ugh, more enemies. Rinker is most likely going to be taking some pretty severe damage from that, so... Gotta watch out there. If I could rush in and take that hero out quickly, I'd like that. Victory is mine! Yeah, that horse looks very naked. I guess I can try whooping with the ugly stick. We can do this. And I can't exactly use Scarlet here because too many archers. And Mozu shall advance into the gap. Or breach, let's just say. And then destroy them! For she is now the ultimate killager of ultimate doom. And she no longer shakes while she's attacking. In fact, she does some pretty cool moves. I did it. I am liking her as a master of arms. Except yes, I need to heal you because I don't want that fire orb doing a real number on you. Oh hey! We can have yet another master on this map! Um. And then he can finally use his strength stat for something. And... yeah, we are really traffic jammed here. What are you doing? <laughs> missed! That thing has 120 accuracy as well. Yeah, I thought so. Rinka takes a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Mozu takes nothing. Except that's wasting the guard gauge and then the hero could do stuff. Hey, that's not nice. Only 12 damage with the silver axe? That's actually pretty impressive. Do something. Yeah, we will do something. That is still painful though. I'll need to give Mozu more weapons to benefit from the whole Master of Arms thing. Show no mercy. Okay, we'll have to stop those two before they get away. They don't have pass or anything, so I should be able to cut them off. Yeah, I knew, I knew you wouldn't be able to move. So let's see what happens when Nine-Tailed... Uh, that's... Still gonna be kind of painful. I'll have to use the Master of Arms Mozu to. Wait a minute, you still have 25 HP. Yeah, I'll have to use the Nine Tails on you. Nine Tails Veil forever! That's Carl Herbert who voices that guy, by the way, aka Frederick. <laughs> Rolling around to the speed of Nine Tails. <laughs> so, apparently on promotion, Carden has become Sonic. That, I did not expect that at all. 
<laughs> Apparently he has places to go and he has to follow the Rainbow Sage. Well, danger is lurking around every turn on this map. So he must trust his feelings and live and learn. <laughs> Stand strong. Uh, uh, uh. That was pretty surprising, actually. You're done. I don't know why that made me laugh so much. It just did. That was just really unexpected. Actually, that will finish you. Is he going to do another rolling attack? That, that really made my day, I will say. That, that really did. I knew about that rolling jump, but... Very kind of you. Well, it's Cardin's thing to be kind. So, she's kind of exposed. Uh, hey, 16 times 2 is fine. And that is absolutely zero hit rate. So, if I actually promoted him to Master of Arms and then promoted... I'm actually kind of considering that. I will need more Master Seals after this, though. And I hope I'll be able to upgrade the shop soon so I can buy even more Master Seals. Because seriously, uh... You two! Wait a minute. So... Store the door key. How many more Master Seals do I have? Uh, I, I only have three more, that's good. And then trade that to Azuma. And give him the Brass Naginata too. Because you already do enough damage with, you know, your other stuff. And then... Perhaps I should give him a pair up for good measure. Except... Oh no, he's only in range of a Fire Orb, which is not actually going to hurt very much. Though... Healing Rinker might not be a bad idea here. I might actually need to hold off on, although that is 15 damage and Ballistas can't actually kill. Yeah, in fact that lock-in range actually does seem to lock in the... Anyway. Now it is time for yet another new master to be born, and of course we're going this one. I mean, seriously, look at that strength. That's better than almost all of our physical fighters. Plus eight strength on promotion to Great Master feels a little ridiculous to me, honestly, but yeah, he is now one of our best physical fighters as well as a great healer, so let's do this. It is time for, I believe this is, okay, one, two, I think this will be third master of this map. The look at that strength bonus. What's this? <laughs> so now he can finally put his enormous strength to good use. Because he can use lances now. And he has that animation, which is pretty cool. So basically war monk, except with uh with Snarky Nasas. Anyone want to try? Ouch. Oh, really? I said, anyone want to try him on for size? Because you shall fall before the masterful might of the great master. He is doubling! I mean, seriously, look at this. He is pretty much one of our best physical fighters at this point. And that is saying something, considering that we have people like Ryoma. Come on, Great Master Azama, show him off. Also, he finally gets to show his, like, actually good situation in Battle Portrait. That was interesting. Rest in peace. Ez. So, yeah, he's... I don't regret using... Actually, he might make good use of that arm scroll now I think about it. Get a better rank on Naginatas. But, I mean, seriously, he's so strong that he really only needs brass ones. Uh, you know I haven't actually, you know I actually have used Kagura a little bit already. I need to take that thief out. So let's go with the not wing spear. Almost time to for Iago to be welcomed to die. Although I'm, pr and I knew one of those would miss. I'm 
pretty sure that he's not actually gonna- and I can see the fire orbs there, that's cool. I'm pretty sure he's not actually gonna die this chapter, because, yeah, that would- I mean, seriously, like, he is one of the main villains of the game. He is not gonna die so easily. Stay strong. And I just stopped those thieves. So we get all that gold back. Well, back. Not exactly back. This wasn't ours in the first place, but, well, it's Garen's. He doesn't deserve it anyway. 41. Wow. Stay alert. Phew. Rinka was definitely a good choice for this map. Oh, shame she can't promote you to master anything. Because then we'd have another master. Shane Kamui isn't exactly the best I'm healing. I'm impressed. No, don't be impressed by that. That was a pathetic amount of healing. These two need some healing too, actually. That's the problem. Now that Azuma is promoted, we have to essentially decide whether we want to... Nothing! <laughs> whether we want to use him Here to attack go. or to heal. <laughs> He's certainly a lot more useful than he used to be, though. I mean, just look at look at this. I mean, he's doing very well for himself, and this is something with a brass knocking out of. And I think these two are almost certainly going to get a support after this. Uh, you're not even level 19 yet. And Rabbit Spirit's kind of overkill, but oh well. And I needed to use his armor to heal. That's the problem with having a healer paired up. Learned your lesson? Yeah. That one's gone, and now... Ah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna need Rinka for you. Let's just get rid of you. Let me help you. Now, uh, shame she can't promote it's a great master, or would have another master. <laughs> Your fate was in the cards. Channeling someone else from the uh, same universe that uh, the one that you're, you have the same voice actress as is uh, from. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Let's try that anyway. Help is coming. I'll show you. And nothing. Oh well. No crits. But Poison Strike will do quite a bit to you. Uh, I did give him the Armor Slayer though, although 22 damage is kind of scary. Especially seeing as there is a magic user who is waiting to kind of destroy him there. Uh, yeah, I still don't like the prospects of that. Then again... I doubt Kamui can fully heal him up for that much damage. It's probably best to just stay back for now. I hope Kagero can take a Ragnarok. Rink is more of a tank here. I'll need to uh, go for you. And I need to plan out how best to completely destroy Iago. And barely anything there for him except Rinko. Yeah, you were switching to the Ragnarok user who barely does anything to Kakero, the Master Ninja of Masterfulness. And you now have a full guard meter. But... Granted, there is one of you as a sorcerer, so... Kind of... Okay, then. I need Azama to heal, though. Maybe someone should take Azama off him. I just pronounced that thing in two different ways in the same sentence, but I'm kind of fine with that. No need to despair. Wait a minute, I should have... Ah, uh, yeah, should have killed you from range, and then... I do like the way Ragnarok looks in this game, though. 
kind of reminds me of, of the higher level fire spells in Persona and how they look like a ba basically a giant explosion. Good. Okay, he's getting some pretty good level ups. Yeah, I really should have... Yeah, that wasn't smart. I could try for this. I can be of service. You freezed your glass. There we go. Success. Okay, now I can stop one of the turrets. And yes, everyone here is pretty much gone by this point. Not strong enough. And I just looked and realized my internet has cut out again. So, uh, my internet has been really, really on the fritz lately. Because Australia. Yeah. People at yeah, people have recently just told me there is absolutely no cure for our bad internet. It's just, you know, we're in Australia. Which is really sad, but yeah. Nothing we can do, really. Might actually switch over to Ryoma for now. And yeah, he takes... Uh, Cardin takes nothing from those. Come on, do your worst, Iago. We're ready for you. Yeah, that... Oh, I didn't know you moved! Oh, interesting. You want Kamui, huh? Yeah. Wow, that is a cool-looking spell animation. Huh. Kamui is not quite ready to face you yet. Well, I mean, he is. He's just not nearby. But we can take out your other turret. Let's this. Slowly savor your plans all failing before we destroy you. Oh. Are you hurt? <laughs> okay. And now... Yeah, I didn't notice that you moved in. You have Vengeance, which is scary. It, has it been nerfed in its trigger rate? Yeah, skill stat times 1.5. I always felt that Vengeance being double your skill stat always just felt a bit too strong. Oh, and his magic is... is halved, and even then... <laughs> oh no! Oh. oh no! Sorry, I'm not going to do that again. Uh... Right. Somebody needs to definitely want Azama to heal here. Oh, I can always count on you. Wow, that wasn't even a full heal. Maybe block there, and then have you take out the other one. And then, soon... Thank you. And she is level 20, that's good. Okay, I will confess that I actually loaded a battle save here because something happened and I had to go out really, really quickly when I was last recording. But thankfully, yeah, Iago is the only enemy left on the map. And, uh, hopefully... Nobody should die here. I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Iago should be terrified at that. 
I love that you can actually see bosses just looking terrified at the amount of damage they're going to be suffering. How does she do against him? Pretty well, actually. Though, yeah, I would kind of like to get Kamui in on this. I just realized that according to the attack range, Iago can technically use that, the Fire Orb, but uh, oh well. Yeah, and he is using it! <laughs> yeah, you coward, why don't you come and face us? So your magic's still halved until the wielder attacks again. Ah, that's exactly enough! <laughs> Yes, I'm a very calm and composed villain. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I love doing that. So, you wanted a Kamui, you're gonna get him! Oh. Here I am. I see. Short to the point, I see. You won't stop me. Oh yes, I wanted that! That was for Keaton, you bastard! This is my chance. That was admittedly quite satisfying. I really hope that he get Dragon's uh, Dragon Fang there, and he did, which was amazing. Sadly, Hinata didn't promote there, so we don't have. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have four masters in one battle. But I doubt Iago's gone for good. It's over. One thing. Yeah, how did you know that? Who is the spy among us? <laughs> I won't allow it. <laughs> what? Why, yes. Ooh. Uh, yeah, admittedly, there is some irony in that. And of course, he teleports away. No. Yeah, I thought so. It's a little too early to be finishing him for good. <laughs> oh, and of course, it was a fake all along. Wow. Well, he's certainly acting like his Shakespearean namesake. <sighs> Flora, though. Huh? I'd like to say I'd want to have her go and get revenge on Iago, but she's not playable on this route. I'm here to help. That was a good use of a voice clip there. Ugh, using fire magic on an ice user, yeah, that's gotta hurt. Not for now, at least, but he I will be back. You. Unless you're the traitor. Um. Yeah, but you haven't been with us for a while. What? Now, Takumi, you have been a little bit, I don't know, uh, kind of jerkish throughout this whole thing. Could you still be possessed, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Something's not right. And yeah, he kind of has to, because he can support with all of them. Yeah, yeah get in that medicine quickly. He needs no. it. <sighs> Takumi! I won't fail you. I'll help too! Uh, medicine that can cure, um, weird, uh, angsty werewolf disease? <sighs> yeah, I guess it's worked. Thankfully, we have our Game Breaker back. Also, the two maids are reunited, which is yes. nice.
That's probably why they gave Felicia back to you around now. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wonder if. Yeah. I guess so. Um... Oh no, I'm... You know what? I'm really, really sp suspicious of Flora at this point. If she is the traitor though, I'm guessing she's doing it for sympathetic reasons. Huh? Um... Well, I guess they are technically neutral territory at this point. But, um, didn't they attempt a rebellion? Oh, hmm. uh, yeah, they already tried to rebel against Garen. He hates them anyway. It'll be fine. Oh, yeah, strong warriors. Uh, um, well, my other file could probably dispute that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we actually get to see our home village when Felicia's with us. Felicia. Yes, they did. Understood. Something's not right here, though. Yes. All right. Something's uh, really not right. Um. Yeah. Huh? Behind the curtain? What was that? Is there a curtain here? <clears throat> um... No, yeah, that clearly wasn't a fever dream. Yeah? Considering I'll just give... I won't give outright spoilers for the other route, but something similar happened there, and what they said... turned out to be true later. Behind the curtain, uh, first thing that comes to my mind is Polonius, but anyway. So, that is the end of chapter 16. Unfortunately, Iago got away and revealed there's a traitor amongst us. And I have a pretty good idea as to who it is. We'll see what comes of that next time. Okay, you know what? Just to make sure this is the master episode, I had to add this. And yes, he's going Master of Arms, because that definitely fits his stat build better. Not as good skill... Well, actually, his skill's actually not fantastic anyway. But yeah, much better defense and strength, which it seems like Hinata more focuses in. So, it's time for another Master. I still love this promotion song. So, Hinata can now use all weapon types. Hinata, Master of Arms! And the fourth master of this episode. Pretty sure I'm counting that right. Yeah, I'm... yeah. One Master Ninja, two master, Masters of Arms, one Great Master. Yep, four Masters this episode. 